Welcome to the first part of the fly genetic experiment. In this experiment, we will use a Drosophila as a way to demonstrate how you can use this model system to study a basic molecular biology process such as gene expression. Many different strains of Drosophila have been developed. Some have been genetically modified to contain additional genes. And this is what we will be using, two different strains with additional genes. In this particular system, we will use uh, genes that have been discovered in yeast. GAL4 is a protein that can bind to the promoter UAS and drive genes. So the GAL4 produces an mRNA that produces a protein that leads to gene expression. We can then link the US to just about any genes to get expression of those genes. In this particular case, UAS is linked to the LACZ gene, which will produce uh, beta-lactosidase. In this experiment, we will use two strains of flies. One, mutant 39 fly 4, contains the gene for GAL4. Another strain, mutant 1777, contains the UAS promoter linked to the LACZ, which produces beta galactosidase. If we breed these two uh, strains, we should get some specimens which contain both genes and therefore will be able to drive the production of laxant from GAL4 binding to UAS. When you carry out this experiment, you have to take into consideration the life cycle of the Drosophila. When two uh, adults pair, the fertilization of the eggs takes place and um, this develops then into a uh, larvae. The larvae uh, grows and uh, produces a pupa. From the pupa, a, a adult fly emerges. The uh, scale in the middle shows you that it takes uh, about 180 minutes for the for formation of the eggs. It takes about um, uh, 24 hours for the initial production of the um, larvae and that you um, will get an adult uh, within 10 to 12 days. One thing that you'll have to learn in this practical is uh, learn how to recognize a male from a female. So you can see in the pictures, females tend to be larger, but not necessarily so because it will depend a little bit by the age. The main difference is the coloring. You can see that the male, which is uh, on the right there, uh, it's got a darker back and while well, the female has got a more striped uh, back and uh, it's got a more rounded body as opposed to the male. The points that you need to take into consideration is that Drosophila are sexually active within eight hours of the closure. That means when the adult comes out of the pupil. This is something you have to take into consideration when you uh, want to mate uh, uh, flies because you don't want to use females that have already mated. You also should consider that larva development is lower at 18 degrees C as compared to the 24 degrees C where flies are normally maintained. And the expression of a GAL4 is actually higher at somewhat higher temperature, optimal being around 29 degrees C. You'll have to take all this into consideration when planning your experiment and making your request on how the fly should be kept. To prepare the tubes where you will grow the flies, you'll have to spoon some of the food into the tube, add some water, mix quickly, but without getting the side of the wall wet, you allow that to set and then you add a little bit of yeast. The yeast is necessary for the larvae to grow. In order to uh, mate the flies, you will have to set up the chamber with some ether and then you will uh, 
bring the flies that are dropping from the bottle directly into your anesthetizing chamber. The flies will uh, fall asleep and you'll be able to look them under the dissecting microscope to separate the males from the females. The objective of your experiment is to prepare uh, some flies that will express the lax scent. So from one tube you'll want flies that express lax scent, and another tube will be your control, which do not express lax scent. So it's up to you for you to decide what flies you're going to put in the tubes. For one tube you can request virgin females that will add it, be added to, into the tube by the technicians. We should also consider the temperature which you want your flies to be uh, bred, for how long, and uh, think also about the assay that you'll be doing in four weeks' time. In terms of health and safety, the only thing you really have to uh, be careful about in this experiment is ether, which is both flammable and toxic. Should in any case uh, follow general laboratory procedure for health and safety.